Residents being warned to stay indoors, protect young children, the elderly, and pets as temperatures soar into the triple digits. Chris Wolf live in Stevenson Ranch with the latest on the excessive heat warning. Chris. Absolutely. Share Micah, this is one of the hot spots. Reports say this whole area, Stevenson Ranch, Santa Clarita, New Hall, could reach 106, maybe 108 degrees before this heat wave is over. You know, Labor Day weekend is typically a time when people have barbecues, hit the beaches, or spend a lot of time outdoors, but that could be very challenging or unsafe this year. The heat is on and it's getting hotter with Southern California's longest and most intense heat wave of the year. Triple digit temperatures will roast much of the region, possibly breaking some records. Now, health officials, utility managers, government agencies, and firefighting personnel are sounding all kinds of alarms. The National Weather Service says there is an elevated fire weather risk across the valleys, foothills, mountains, and deserts with critically dry fuel or vegetation and scorching temperatures. Emergency managers with the city of Los Angeles warned that temperatures could reach 115 degrees in parts of the area, saying during an extended extreme heat event like this, there are more hospitalizations because our bodies are less able to recover from the heat. Know the warning signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Those include dizziness, excessive sweating, vomiting, rapid weak pulse and muscle cramps, and worse, throbbing headache, no sweating, a high body temperature, rapid strong pulse, or possible loss of consciousness. Ozone or smog is our dominant summertime pollutant, and ozone levels are really sensitive to temperature. The air will be hot and bad. The South Coast Air Quality Management District has issued an ozone advisory for much of Southern California, warning that air pollution and poor air quality could lead to breathing problems, asthma attacks, even lung damage. And when the heat goes up, the demand for electricity rises. The panel that oversees the state's power grid, Cal ISO, is urging people to cut back and conserve electricity. We've instructed utilities on the grid we manage to refrain from maintenance operations that would take their equipment out of service during this heat wave. Our best bet for getting through a challenge like this is when we all pitch in and do what we can. Cal ISO says we should prepare for more flex alerts probably on Sunday and Monday Labor Day. That's when people are urged to cut back on electricity use from the hours uh, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. each night. You should not use large appliances like washing machines. Turn off all unnecessary lights and try to set your thermostat to 78 degrees.